Hey YouTube, Tech Intimidation. Today we're going to be talking about guided access. Guided access allows you to lock your phone to a single app so that when you pass your phone off to someone, they can only use that app and they can't exit it and look at your email, your photos, or buy anything else or do anything else with your phone. Only are able to use that app which you've locked it to. So let's look at how to turn this on. You go to settings, scroll down to general, accessibility, and then scroll a little ways down here to guided access. It says here guided access keeps the iPhone in a single app and allows you to control which features are available. To start guided access, triple click the home button in the app you want to use. So let's turn it on. You can uh, set a passcode and you could make it the same passcode that you use to unlock your phone. You could make it a different one. Or you can choose the passcode um, each time you use uh, the guided access feature. You can also turn on your Touch ID to let that unlock from guided access. Um, there's also time limits you can use. and You can have it play a sound when your time limit is up. Um, but I would not recommend using time limits because I found that as soon as the time limit ends, guided access turns off and then the phone is unlocked and they can go anywhere they want. So I would not recommend using time limits. Let's see, let's go back to the home screen and let's show how this would work. So just for fun, we'll say that the weather app is the app that you want it to be locked to because you only want your kids looking at the weather or whatever. So. I'm in the app and now I just triple click on the home button, the button at the bottom of the phone. So I just triple clicked and the guided access menu pops up. So at the bottom there are options. You can circle, let's so let's say they're playing a game and there's like a purchase button or something and you want to disable that. You can actually circle it. Let's say it's right where that B was and it would disable that part of the screen for that app. So if you don't want them to purchase something, or if there's a certain area you don't want them to use, you could actually circle it and disable it. Uh, the other options are to enable and disable the different functions and buttons on the iPhones. You can turn off the sleep-wake wake button that's at the top. You can disable the volume buttons. Um, you can allow the phone to be turned left and right, and it changed the screen. Um, you can enable or disable keyboards, you can enable or disable them touching the screen, and you can set a time limit if you wish, wish, and again, I would not do it, because as soon as it ends, it just unlocks the phone. So let's say we're done here, and let's go ahead and start. So we have to set a passcode that's going to unlock the phone to end this session, this guided access session. So I'm just going to make it one, two, three, four. You have to do it twice to make sure that you actually know what you typed in. And guided access starts. So I can use this just as normal, looking at all kinds of weather. Um, I can look at different locations. Um, but if I hit the home button at the bottom, it just says that guided access is enabled. And if I try the sleep wake at the top, it tells me that guided access is enabled and basically telling them that that function is not allowed. I can adjust the volume um, and I can move the mute button as well and it does not give me any warnings. But again, if I try and touch the home button or anything else, it's not going to let it unlock. So I'm going to triple click again at the bottom to unlock it. And then it will ask me for the passcode. and you can either end or resume the guided access function. So I'm going to go ahead and hit end and that's it. So that's how you would use guided access to allow your kids to use a single app and maintain control of your phone when you pass it off to someone else. That's going to do it for today. Leave some comments below on how you would use this function or any weaknesses or things you would like to see added to this. Thanks for watching.